Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be going manga shopping again I say again because recently I did a manga shopping with me where I went to Manchester and real time I only did that two days ago yeah two days ago and I'm doing another one today but this one's a bit different and a bit special so I feel like a lot of the time when I do my manga shopping videos I particularly focus on going to places like I may oh, I say focus I only go to Forbidden Planets and Traveling Mans and I do love Forbidden Planets and Traveling Mans that's not changed at all in the slightest I very much love their three for two stuff and their selection and all that um, but what I wanted to try and do was do a series of sort of mini videos where I go to places that sell manga that are more independent so like one-off shops, little shops, local independents, all that supporting local and stuff so for today's manga shopping video that's going to be like the first in what I hope is going to become a series yes so today's video I'm really excited by because we are going to a store in a town called Halifax in West Yorkshire, UK. So I am super hyped to be going here. I have not been to this store before it opened during lockdown and I haven't had a chance to go back since. Um, so I, yeah, I am like super excited to go and see what they have. I don't, this isn't, it isn't a manga store. I think it's like a comic book store. So they have a lot of comic books and like Marvel stuff and Star Wars stuff, but I'm fairly sure from what I've seen, they have at least a shelf, maybe two shelves of manga. I think it's going to be a lot of like some of the more popular series. I imagine they'll have like Attack on Titan, probably Jojo, maybe some Naruto and One Piece, I'm unsure. I'm also assuming that most of it's probably going to be retail price. I don't imagine they'd do like three for two or discounts. Um, but because like the whole point of the video is supporting local and independence, I am going to try and buy some if they have s volumes that I don't have, even though my whole mantra is never pay retail. I'm still going to buy something to show support, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't imagine this video is going to be very long at all because I don't imagine they'll have a huge amount of stock. But yeah, that's not the point. I'll Let's go take a look at the shop. We'll take a look at the place where the shop is because it is located in something called the Peace Hall and it's gorgeous and it's just super pretty to look around and it's meant to be all decorated for Christmas and I'm so excited. I'm just like so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to go see what the comic book shop has to offer. So let's go! So here we are at the Peace Hall. Originally it was built to sell, I think, cloth in 17 something. Um, and then it sort of changed into a market and then there were lots of individual shops. And they did a big refurbishment a few years ago where they paved over the whole thing and they redid a whole bunch of the interior shops. So the way it kind of like is laid out is there are rooms around the edge and there's just a whole bunch of little shops and then most of them are nice little independents. So we are in the Peace Hall. Um, I have no idea where the store is because I forgot to look at a map ahead of time. I'm just going to amble around, hopefully try and find it. There's three floors of shops that goes all the way up. So is it on all three floors? I think it's on all three floors. So I'm just going to amble and try and find it at the moment. <laughs> I found it! It does kind of look like I ran in and just smashed my face into the manga. <laughs> I must say, I was actually quite impressed with what they had. There was a lot of viz, 
but a lot of it was quite newish viz like they had the new chainsaw man at the time and the new jujutsu kaisen at the time they even had some isekai and i think i was just so surprised and really happy at the like just just to see it and just this small little shop and they had all this I was trying to be super sly because the guy who ran the shop was just sat immediately to the left and he was like giving me the side eye and I was like, I'm so sorry, I just love the manga. So I've been collecting Assassin's Creed uh, manga recently and Dynasty is actually one of the few ones I haven't got so I was really surprised to see that one because it wasn't even in Leeds. I thought let's see what else they have around the shop. It isn't horrendously big so it won't take too long to walk around. I do like the prints. I was tempted by a print. A lot of superhero stuff, a lot of Marvel stuff, a lot of Star Wars stuff. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is your place. I was very tempted by the hat. I really quite like the Deadpool hat. Also tempted by the Mario jumper. I am very, very big on Christmas jumpers. <laughs> some neat figures in there. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. So having looped around the shop once, I wanted to come back to give a further look. What I realised second time around was there was actually a bunch of manga behind the first level um, so I had to try and pull some stuff out or dip the camera in to be able to see what was behind there. Also, so hyped to see this volume. Been loving that series. Villainess, Isekai, yes, thank you. Oh my goodness. Again, another volume that I did not see in Leeds even though I was there only days before this. And the latest Twilight Princess volume. Yeah, I think there was a bunch of Azadora back there and some Dragon Ball and there was something else, but I felt a bit weird pulling it. <laughs> Start pulling out all the manga to see what was back there. Overall, very impressed. Not what I was expecting. There was definitely more new series than I thought there would be. So that was Pages and Pixels. I think that was what it's called. Yeah, it was. You can see it. It's just up, up there a little bit. Um, and as you'll have seen, I picked up 
two volumes and I'll just quickly show you. So the first one I picked up was I'm the Villainess, I'm Taming the Final Boss, Volume 2. This one really excited me because I really enjoyed Volume 1 and I was in Manchester and Leeds within the past week and they didn't have Volume 2. So even though I paid retail for it, I'm quite excited because that's a new release and it's an isekai and it's a Villainess isekai and I'm obsessed with Villainess isekais at the moment. And then the second volume I picked up because I've been on a right Assassin's Creed binge as of late is Assassin's Creed Dynasty. So this is a Tokyo Bop. It's quite a thick Tokyo Pop actually. Um, I can't... what is this one based on? Uh, Tang Dynasty. I suppose that makes sense. God Dynasty. Um, I've had a whole bunch of these recently so I've got a Valhalla one called Blood Brothers. I've got Awakening which is based on Black Flag and I have the Viz one which I've forgotten the name of that's based on the China Chronicle game. So that, they really excite me, I'm so excited to read those. But yeah, that's the first in my mini series of Manga Independence. I was actually quite impressed with their range considering how little space they had for manga. It was... Yeah, they had a lot of new things. They had Spy Family 6, they had Mao, Mao, I don't know how to pronounce it, M-A-O. They had a whole bunch of Radiant, Jojo. Yeah, that was actually pretty decent. Spawn Punch Man, lots of Attack on Titan. Jojo, <laughs> did I say Jojo? Yeah, that was really neat. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I was just so, so happy. I bought Manga and Halifax. It's just made my day. Um, yes, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.